gizmo here. I'm on the Tingalpa Creek. I spend the day on the creek. Should be good. Well, the Ting Upper Creek is a creek in southeast Queensland. This um, waterway is an important wildlife corridor, and of course, it has kayaking and fishing opportunities, which I'm taking advantage of today. I won't be fishing, but I'm doing the kayaking bit. I'm coming up to a sunken log that I might have to shimmy over. Hopefully I'll just skim over it. going out so it doesn't start coming back in until around lunchtime. I'm probably at the lowest now. Right, let's see if I can get it. Right, get it. That'll do. Life wasn't meant to be easy. Here we go. <laughs> Done it. Yeah, the the um the Ting Upper Creek probably starts about where the koala bushlands are in um, Brisbane and also the Venman National Park and then winds its way down into the Tingapa Reservoir and below the reservoir it's all tidal and that's the section I'm on so I'm experienced the low tide part and um, it's uh, just nice to be out here on the water today my first obstacle. It is um, the tide's going out so it's low tide.
it is really low, it's fun day. Speed does the trick. No. Hope it ain't like this all the way. There were some rapids back there. The, the kite was too shallow, I had to get out and pull it. Yeah, if the tide's going out, but it doesn't come back in until after lunch. Duck just there, just staying one step ahead of me. Now, if you can see on the bank there, you can actually see where the tide comes up to. It's where the green comes down. That's how low the tide has dropped. It's dropped about one and a half meters. So I'm probably at its lowest point. There's another duck. Beautiful day, beautiful Sunday morning. It's still winter. Here he goes. Well, the water is very, very still now. I guess I have reached the um, peak of low tide um, where it's just sitting still. It's not going that way or that way. It's very, very slowly going out still. But it's absolutely beautiful to paddle like this. Dirty big rock under the water there. I just missed. <laughs>
the water dragons so you hang on the overhanging branches going out into the creek and if they get startled they can just drop straight into the water and escape oh no that's it there it is it's actually a um, cormorant oh mr cormorant pop your head up there he is you can see him there Good. black one Along this creek you'll see um, small forest birds, ducks and cormorants and waders. You'll see kingfishers, you'll see um, insect eating birds. Yeah, there's white bellied sea eagles and um, uh, grey goshawks. Along with red bellied black snakes. If you, if you get out onto the edges of the bank, you'll see red bellied black snakes. Squirrel gliders if you're really lucky, probably night time. Bandicoots, bandicoots habitat this area. And uh, tree frogs. Uh, I always look out for stuff, I don't see many. And um, most of the time when I do see stuff, I'm not quick enough to catch it on film. But they're there. Like there's a duck right in front of me and you're just keeping like 10 paces ahead of me. <laughs> Trolling motor today because I knew it would be tidal and it would be too shallow in spots. It would just be too much of a hassle with that thing. And it's easy enough to paddle along here. I'm actually going with the flow of the water. It's all overgrown here. It's really, really nice. So, if you ever get a chance to do this, I'd recommend it. It's just Thoroughly nice around here. Just check where I am on the river. I've got this map app, maps.me, and I can check exactly where I am on the river. I'm not sure whether you can see that or not, but um, yeah, I can see exactly where I am. And I'm actually progressing along quite slowly at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I've got it all day, doesn't matter. Wow, it's so nice in here. All by myself. I expect when I get closer to the other end there'll be a lot of fishermen and everything because they come up from the um, mouth of the Morton Bay up Tingalpa Creek and it's a really good fishing there. So a lot of kayakers come up from the mouth of the creek into there and um, some keen boaters come up there too. It's a little bit deeper and yeah, I'll probably cross a few of those later on. I started off in the parklands at Capalabar, just at the Capalabar bridge that crosses over the Tingalpa Creek and um, I'm going to wait my way down until I get to Chadwell Street and there's a boat ramp at Chadwell Street, well there's not actually a boat ramp, there's a kayak ramp at Chadwell Street. Um, make my way there, another sunken log, Ooh, we made it over that one. Yeah, that's, that's just an awesome day out here on the water.
can still hear the traffic on the motorway. There's probably not much need for me to explain the difficulties of filming yourself while you're on a kayak. It's um, not as easy as you would imagine. I managed to set this kayak up as best as I can to film while I'm out on the water. But um, yeah, it's a bit of a challenge. You don't want any of your good quality gear to get wet. And yet you still want to capture all of this for your audience. So um, yeah, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I tell you what though, what a fabulous place. What I was saying about the difficulty of filming yourself while you're on the water. Um, one, thing, one thing good about this camera that I've got, it's got this um, watch wrist control and I can turn the camera on and off with this, which is really good. Off. On. <laughs> that makes life a whole lot easier filming stuff like this. Alright, I think it's time to check on the map again to see where I'm at now. See if I've progressed at all. The sun's right up there, it must be about 11.30 I'd say. Got some fruit cup cordial in there. Anyway, I'll try and make haste now and make it to the end. See you when I get there. Turn the panel around the right way. No, nope, had it the right way. Okay, the tide's coming in pretty fast now. You hear that choppiness under the boat? It's getting a bit of chop on the water. Yeah, the tide's coming in pretty aggressively. Not too far to go. Um, by the way, this trip around that I'm doing is around five kilometres, um, so it's pretty easy. Just remember, you may, if it's low tide, have to get out of the kayak, so you need a pair of like either sneakers that you're prepared to get wet, or some water shoes, and it's going to be slippery. So just keep that in mind. And if you don't mind that sort of thing, then you're going to have a great trip. once I get to the parklands near the end. Okay, let's get into it.
made it to the boat ramp. There it is.